Okay, welcome back to Two Gay Guys Play. We're just gonna keep on rocking and rolling here. Oh, that's right, we were doing a thing. Yeah, we were. Ooh, I forgot what we were doing, but now I kind of remember. Good, because I don't. <laughs> we're we're doing the fun puzzle thing while uh, Virgil is, you know. Being Virgil and terrible yeah. and the worst. I think I've ever disliked a video game character more. I suppose that's because we did, like, a decent run in Undertale, so the, my most hated video game character wasn't myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Jeez, because that game. Yeah. And I read, a, I was reading a review a couple of days ago. They were like, it's not that the game punishes you for being a bad person. It just wants you to understand that you're a bad person. So yeah, like, All right. just so you know. That's cool. I've never played any of the, like, Grand Theft Auto games to any extent. So I don't know if you're supposed to empathize with the bastards. Right. Ugh, I got rid of Screamy Lady, so I feel much better. I don't know, have you ever played, like, the actual plot of a Grand Theft Auto game, rather than, like, borrowing your <laughs> brother-in-law's? Um, you mean just a friend's, because I was old enough to kind of play it with my parents not knowing anyway. Um, oh, oof. nope. Um, I've never played the actual plot, no. And it's never really appealed to me for anything, just because... I don't know. I don't like always just playing the bad guy, especially if the bad guy is just a straight up just like, a murderer, street thug, mur like criminal. Yeah, mm -hmm. like that's why I really enjoy uh, Sleeping Dogs, because it's basically Grand Theft Auto, but you're not an asshole because you're a cop, right? Yeah, exactly. In the bag. Any problems? No. Define problems. <laughs> There's a. Uh... <sighs> nope. I didn't do anything. There we go. I have a feeling you could just get those in place. Like, yeah, you know what? You're right. And if I could remember how to do this. Where's the other one? That's way, over, way there. over there. So, we'll do this. And take that. You know, actually hit it where it's supposed to. Such a weird, punchy sound. Yeah, he's just very excited. Alright, yeah. then just move those two back. Alright. This is very weird. Like my, uh, there, now when you activate it, you're just done. Yep. Continue. Oh, okay. Uh. Grand Theft Auto. Oh, right. That, I don't, I just don't want to play as a criminal. Like, it's not like a, what button do I press to turn myself in or anything. Yeah. It's more like, if the main character's not likable, I don't want to play as them. That's also a lot of it, because, to me, like, I'm not, I don't dig criminals. Yeah. Like, unless it's like an anthropomorphic raccoon, then I'm like, I'm all, I'm all, I'm on board. No problem. Of course. Uh, but if it's, like, in asshole. Just out doing dumb shit for dumb reasons. Yeah. Well, I don't have anything else to do, so I guess I'll be a criminal. Well, you know, sometimes. It's like people that, like... You run out of lemonade, and you're just like, <laughs> mm. I guess I'll be... I'll join an international crime syndicate. Yeah. I don't actually know what Grand Theft Auto games are about. Because, like, I don't know about you. I don't like, know what the endings are. Like, do you just, like, and then uh, I never got caught by the cops again? Or... <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't know about you, like, when I was, like, 13, I guess I was, like, 12 or 13, whenever, like, 3 came out. Yeah, um, I was, like, 13 when it was the big thing. Okay, so I must have been, like, 14 then. Uh, like, I went, I went to go visit, like, my sister and brother-in-law. My brother-in-law was like, so your mom does not allow you to play Grand Theft Auto, right? And I'm like, well, yeah, it's rated M, you know, I'm 13, 14. He's yeah. like, well, we bought it for you. In that, I bought it for myself, but I bought it knowing you were visiting. Yeah. Just to piss off your mom. I'm like, all right. So, like, while they were at work, I just played Grand Theft Auto for a couple days. I have no idea what that game's about. <laughs> I don't... I, I wasn't aware it had a plot till so, I remember somebody bitching about the plot of 4. Right, I'm like, yeah. they have plots? Are you sure? When, um... Hmm? When did that happen? Because all I remember is typing in cheat codes and shooting rocket launchers at things. Yeah, exactly. Summoning just all day. Tanks and yeah. just... Yeah, just all day. the fuck I wanted to do. Yeah. All right. Like, apparently, besides the fact that, like... From what I understand, like, the gameplay of 5 is very fun. But the, uh... The plot is ridiculous, and the controls are terrible. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey, you have ten. So now yeah. when you get to a save point, you can get your last oh, four container. Oh, I could, couldn't I? Yep. Man. Yeah. 
Anyway. Uh, they're like, and I was just kind of talking to somebody, and I was like, I was never aware they had plots. Yeah, just at all. Never, ever, ever. No. Items. Mm, Health that, cross. Yep, that one. All right. Yeah, so much better. Is that also a health item? Bet it is. Cool. Yeah. I feel cool as shit. So yeah, my entire exposure to Grand Theft Auto is through irresponsible uh, <laughs> parenting. Well, yeah, basically. Yeah. Well, I which, think most people's is that way. Well, I think there's a difference between your parents going, fuck, I don't care what you play. True. And like, uh, an in-law going, screw your mom and her restrictions. Yeah. I, I have a feeling mildly that's what in-laws are for. I close the hell door. Right. When you're 14. Yeah. But to be fair, when I was 18, my sister was like, so what do you want for your birthday? Because if do you want anything pierced? Because I'll pay for it. Okay. Yeah. What'd you get? Oh, I got both my nipples pierced. Wow, you are gay. Mm hmm. This is it. Super gay. Uh, they're not pierced anymore. Which is why I could ask the question. Yeah. You, otherwise, you were like, very confused. Shouldn't you know? <laughs> or how many does he have? How many things does he have pierced? At the moment, zero. Yeah. Uh, but she was just like. Daddy would kill me if I got you a tattoo, so instead, yeah. you want something pierced. You can always take that out later. Yep, very true. And I had them in for like five or six years, but... Hmm. Man. Second face, to last one. Face of the demon. Yeah. It's Mundus fight time. Like, I've been debating getting them, like, re-pierced. And I'm oh. just like, that would hurt a lot. And also, yeah. I'm not super into them anyway. Do I just want them because I used to have them? Yeah. Which is my same a response. fashion accessory. Yeah, it's like my same response to, like, Wii games I never played. <laughs> or it's just like, do I want that just because I used to own it? Hear that, kids? Wii games are the equivalent of nipple, nipple piercings. piercings. So pick one and stick like, with them. Like, I've never wanted a dick piercing or anything. Ew, no. Exactly. Oh. Ew. I'm like, why would you ruin that? If you have one, please explain in the comments the, the, the reason for it, because I don't get it. Well, like, I know the reason for some of them. Like... Do you? Yeah, I knew a guy who had a Jacob's Ladder, which is like Ew. the four bars down the bottom. Ugh. And he's like, women love it. And I was like, have women told you that? Right. And he's like, yes, I'm married to a lady. Okay. Like, okay. It's like, it basically just makes his dick ribbed for her pleasure. And I'm like, okay, that I get. Has she ever had his dick without the piercing? Because then it's like, maybe he just has a really great dick by itself. I mean, that's possible. As I understood, no, because he's had him for a long time. Okay. But, I mean, I think you can both have a ridged penis and be good at sex. Yeah. And they just kind of tie into one another. Yeah, exactly. I think they did with it. This is the episode oh, where we there was a plot about, yeah. that I was not paying attention to. We were too busy talking about dick piercing. It's like some emo trash from the dock and Kingpin from Daredevil having a conversation. Yeah. Trying to be like, it's cool. You know, I only killed your mother. Yeah. The name of this episode, Dick Piercing. <laughs> it's a killer big screen TV back there. I mean. Oh, Jesus. Or a portal to hell? It's the Hellgate. All right. Which is a big thing. Oh, hey, Virgil. Which is a big thing in DMC4. Okay. Shh. Yeah, ignore that. <laughs> That's me just t texting you an episode title. <laughs> Making my life easier is all it is. All right. I mean... Because otherwise, then we have to sit down and watch the episodes, deal with ourselves for ten minutes apiece. Like, I, uh, and be like, what the fuck did we say this time? Like, I always just, like, flinch every time I hear my voice recorded, which I think is normal. I'm finding it easier to deal with as time goes by. Like, I used to do podcasts and stuff, and I would have to edit those, and I'm like, okay, I'm fine with my voice. And now, as we're doing the show, I'm more and more, it's easier for me to listen to it. You're, you're not so much? It's still hard for you? Yeah, every time I'm like, oh, my voice, it's terrible. Oh, I'm well. so gay. <laughs> Gotta say, I think you have a sexy voice. All right. All right, Kingpin, chill out. It's definitely not Kingpin, because Kingpin does not have any superpowers. He is just an asshole. You mean just boring? Well. Sorry, I haven't seen all of Daredevil yet, so these are white hot opinions that are. Ugh. Um. Talking about nipple piercings. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like your whole chest having some holes in them. This is weirdly sexual. Oh boy. 
Never mind. I'm a demon, so it'll heal. Well, I'm sorry, not a demon. I don't know. If, uh, whatever. Whatever, like, bullshit. This is all Virgil's, like, fan fiction. Yeah. It's like, well, I couldn't make myself the hero, so I'll make myself the secondary protagonist. Yeah. No one will know. Come on, Virgil. It's like when you read a book and then, like, see the character description. Yeah. I mean, the uh, the author picture on the back of when you're like, they match. Like, yeah. the main character's description and the author. Yeah, it's, like, it's just me. I'm my own Mary Sue in my own story. Yeah. Like, sure, why not? Like, I've certainly read a few that are more obvious than others. Yeah. But... Basically just um, okay. combined uh, Limbo and the real world. That seems super not fun. Yeah. What have you done? If you'll excuse me, I have to use my Ooh. authentic Japanese katana to kill you. <laughs> my brother alone. God, I'm so glad I practiced in the backyard all those years. On all the, like, tree stumps. Yeah. Bye, Mundus! I'm waiting for him to be murdered. Like, actually dead. You okay, Dante? <laughs> of course. And actually, you spitting on him resurrects him. Because <laughs> it just takes angel DNA or some such bullshit. Yeah. Oh, we need to end the episode soon. Oh, yeah, as soon as this goddamn cutscene is over. I'm waiting for the cutscene to finish. <laughs> then I noticed the timer. I was like, oh, wait. It doesn't end because... Uh, you opened a black hole, apparently. Right. And obviously now, that has consequences. Yep, now watch all the people be murdered. Yeah. Is this like mission 19 or something? Yes, it is. All right. We haven't even started the mission. <laughs> We're just watching the cutscene of the mission. Jesus. Okay, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot that we had not even hit game... What is happening? What is... Bitches, I'm back. Okay. They call me Rocky. All right. Get now it. I just want to play Shadow of the Colossus. That's great. I mean, it's on the shelf, because you sold it to me, and then you moved here. Ah. I don't like his name. Just your dad's name. Oh, Sparta? Really? Yeah. Hmm. Too close to Sparta. And it helps for me because I got into DMC when I was like 13 or 14 or whatever, and I didn't know about Sparta. So, <laughs> so this like, came first. Yeah, this okay. came first. In history. You're an asshole! Speaking it like it is. Okay. As soon as I can move, we'll pause this. Um, alright. You know, I don't trust you and your shuriken yeah. that you bought off eBay. Or, actually, knowing you, eBay's too mainstream, Etsy. Yeah. Uh, All right. Next time on Two Gay, Two Gay Guys, Guys Play, Play, you should pause. Okay. Bye.